Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing you another holiday video. Today, we're going to be wishing everyone out there a happy Father's Day from D Hunter's Reviews. In this video, we're going to have a short story about buying a Father's Day gift, and we're going to show all the different fathers in my action figure collection. So I hope you guys enjoy. Happy Father's Day. Here's Bruce Wayne looking up at the portrait of his parents as he does every Father and Mother's Day reminiscing and missing them at the same time. So, he thinks of Alfred as the closest thing he has to a father and wants to give him a special Father's Day. Bruce Wayne asking his son Damien what he thinks he should get Alfred for Father's Day. And Damien says, All Alfred knows about is cleaning and cooking, getting something like that. And Bruce Wayne thinks. So Bruce Wayne is going to the store Foolishly taking Damien Wayne's advice, thinking what can he get for Alfred, maybe some pots and pans, maybe a new feather duster or vacuum cleaner. Here's Bruce Wayne at the store talking to the clerk about these pots and pans. The clerk trying to get him to buy the mixer, the most expensive thing there. Now bear in mind, Bruce Wayne is Batman, world's greatest detective. He is not an idiot. Think about all those people that buy their wives vacuum cleaners for their birthdays or Christmas. How much trouble they get into. Bruce Wayne's not that dumb. He's obviously got some kind of trick up his sleeve. Here's Bruce Wayne showing Alfred the pot and pan set that he got him. Alfred having that sort of blank look on his face. So excited. Bruce Wayne says, Alfred, think of all the wonderful things you can make me with these. And as Alfred's looking kind of depressed... Bruce Wayne can't take it anymore. He pulls out from behind his back a little package and gives it to Alfred. Alfred, you know, just kidding. Here's an all-inclusive cruise to the Caribbean. You deserve it, and we can sure afford it. Alfred says, But Master Bruce, I don't think I can be away for that long to help with your nightly activities. Bruce Wayne says, We've got it under control. You deserve a break. See you in a week, buddy. Happy Father's Day. And as Damian Wayne peeks from around the corner and sees the special bond Bruce has with Alfred, he thinks to himself, maybe I should have gotten him something different than a tie. And so that was just a little short story about Bruce Wayne buying a Father's Day gift for Alfred, as well as playing a practical joke on him. So next on the agenda, we're going to look at all the different fathers in my action figure collection mostly focusing on action figure fathers that I actually have one of their children. So, for starters here, look in front of you, we've got Alfred, who is practically the father of Bruce Wayne. Yes, Thomas Wayne is his biological father, but since about eight years old, Alfred has raised Bruce Wayne. And then we've got Bruce Wayne with Damian Wayne, his son with Talia al Ghul, the current Robin. Here they are in their superhero outfits, father and son crime fighting team, before Bruce Wayne had his biological son, Damien, he had fostered a couple different children. Here is Alfred, Bruce Wayne, and Dick Grayson. This was the first Robin and Bruce Wayne's adopted son. And here they are with their costumes in their crime fighting getup. And many years before Bruce Wayne or Batman had or adopted any children, or even became Batman at all, Here's a young Bruce Wayne, shortly after his parents were killed, being raised by a young Alfred. Here's Bruce Wayne, next to a portrait of his parents, including his father, Thomas Wayne. And then here's Bruce Wayne as Batman, next to a Flashpoint version of Batman, which is actually Thomas Wayne under the cowl. Here's Commissioner Jim Gordon from the Gotham Police Department with his daughter Barbara Gordon. This is when she was Oracle. She was actually Batgirl for many years in the comics until she was crippled. Then she became an Oracle, and now she is Batgirl again in the Rebirth. And there's actually an organization called the Sons of Batman in the future comic Dark Knight Returns. What do you think these Sons of Batman are doing for Father's Day? Next, here's King Snake, a Batman villain that turned out to be the father of Bane. And it was hinted at pretty strongly in one of Anarchy's miniseries that the Joker was his father. 
Here is a DC Batman villain named the Clue Master. Next to it, Batman ally, the spoiler. Clue Master's real name is Arthur Brown. He's the father of Stephanie Brown, the spoiler. Clue Master died in the original Batman comics before the New 52, and I believe he was brought back at the Rebirth. The spoiler continues to remain Bat Ally in the Rebirth. Kind of interesting having a Batman villain, the father of a Batman ally. Let's not forget about Ra's al Ghul, the father of Talia al Ghul, and the grandfather of Damian Wayne. Here is Deathstroke next to the Ravager. Deathstroke is Slade Wilson, the father of Rose Wilson. He's also the father of Jericho, but I don't believe they make a figure of him of any form. Here's Deadshot from the film Suicide Squad. His real name is Floyd Lawton, and here's a fill-in for his daughter from the film. Here's the third Clayface, Preston Payne, next to his offspring, Clayfang. And here's the Sportsmaster, next to his daughter, Artemis. Here is a traditional Lex Luthor, next to his son, Alexander Luthor, from Batman vs. Superman. Here is both Superman and Lex Luthor, next to Superboy. He was cloned from both of them, so they're both pretty much his father. And here is Superman, next to his actual biological son, from the Rebirth comics. Here is the DC villain Darkseid, with his daughter Grail. Here is a Silent Bob figure from the Jay and Silent Bob reboot film, next to a Harley Quinn. Silent Bob is played by Kevin Smith, and although he's not the father of the comic character Harley Quinn, he did name his daughter Harley Quinn in real life. Here is John Connor, next to the T-800 from Terminator 2 Judgment Day. He looked at the T-800 as a father figure, even though he was a machine. And here is his actual father, Kyle Reese, from the first Terminator film. He's his father due to a time paradox situation. Here is Rick Grimes and Carl Grimes from The Walking Dead. Here is Kane from the first Alien film, next to Big Chap, which is the nickname for the alien from that film. I've heard the Big Chap referred to as Kane's son, in some ways, Kane fathered that alien. And even though these are not Egon's kids, the upcoming Ghostbusters sequel definitely establishes that Egon was a father, as the main characters are his grandkids. Here is Vince McMahon and Stephanie McMahon, father and daughter in the WWE. Here is Ric Flair and Charlotte Flair. Here is Stan Lee, damn near the father of Marvel Comics. Here is Marlon Brando as the Godfather. So that about wraps up all the fathers in my action figure world. If I were into Star Wars and Marvel action figure collecting, I would have a bunch more examples to share with you guys. Just wanted to wish everyone out there a happy Father's Day from D Hunter's Reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I set up my Twitter account a couple days ago. If you guys want to check that out, the D Hunter's Reviews, there will be a link in the description below. Maybe help me out, throw me a follow. If you like this video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it in the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure videos from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.